Hi, welcome back to our channel. I'm Deb and this is Berkeley. If you've been watching some of our videos lately, I've been posting some shorts of Berkeley and his day job. Berkeley is a school resource dog, which means he comes into my fifth grade reading classroom and supports the students to overcome challenges or work through stressful situations. And I've had some friends ask, how did I get him to the point of being successful at this job? So I thought I would make a video and let you know the five steps that we went through to get to this point. Now we had had Berkeley since he was eight weeks old. And so we had spent a lot of time socializing and desensitizing him to people of all kinds, as well as places and textures and smells that he would encounter. And so I knew he was a pretty easygoing dog. It was when he was two and a half years old that we actually started this process. Now step one was training. Now we had given him a lot of basics, I would say, as our family pet, but knowing that he would be coming into a school setting, I decided we needed to kind of ramp up the obedience training. So we went, he and I went to six months of classes. Uh, we were able to get a certificate from the American Kennel Club for Canine Good Citizen and from the United Kennel Club for Spot Socialized Pet Obedience Training. We proudly have those hanging in our classroom. In addition to that, I had to think if there were any special skills that I wanted him to have when he came into the room. Now he is coming into a classroom with fifth grade readers. So I wanted to be able to lay down a rug and have him lay next to the students while they do their independent reading. So that is something we practice at home. I laid down a rug, I laid with him on the floor and I read so he could get used to the idea of laying on a rug and listening to someone read. Step two, even through all of our socialization, and desensitization training, I knew there were going to be things he would encounter in a school setting that he had not encountered anywhere else. So I brainstormed a big list. Things like the bells ringing every 45 minutes, kids banging open lockers, uh, student backpacks, noisy hallways. I did the biggest list I could think of. And then step three, I actually started thinking about how I can invent ways to practice some of those things at home. So what I did on my phone is I downloaded an app that allowed me to have a ringing school bell and a sound of noisy kids and we listened to that. Um, I took him into businesses downtown where we could practice going in and out of doors and down slippery aisles. I did whatever I could to practice the situations that he might encounter when he's at school. Step four is like a baby step introduction. I took him to school on the weekends. I gave him free reign basically of the school to smell and explore. So he became used to school as a building. Um, we went in the cafeteria, we checked out the office, we went in the library. I let him just explore to his heart's content. I opened and closed lockers, we went in and out of doors. I did everything I could think of as far as the school building goes. Then when I felt he was comfortable with that, I took him on some trial runs. We went before school one day and all I did was have him see masses of kids talking to each other, uh, hear the bells, see the buses, things like that. And then I took him back on another day when we actually walked through the hallways where he could hear the kids opening and closing their lockers, see groups of kids, see the attention that he was gonna get, have people yelling his name at him and just get used to that. Then I went back for another time and I actually arranged with some teachers to bring him into their classrooms. And I talked to the students ahead of time and I explained, you know, he's learning to be a school resource dog. And I let them answer questions while I just basically let him explore the room. And then finally, I brought him into my own classroom. I had him working with the fifth grade students in my room. They were so supportive and so kind to him, teaching him what he needed to do until finally we were built up. He did one day a week in my classroom and then now he comes three days a week in my classroom. One thing that can be really hard to prepare your dog for is the outpouring of well-meaning love and support you're gonna get from kids. At any given time, he could have 10 kids gathered around him in the hallway trying to pet him. I never really thought about that ahead of time, so I almost set up like play dates for him. I had two kids, then four kids, then six kids, then eight kids kind of gathering around him just so I could gauge his reaction and he was perfectly fine with it. Now this was a six month process for us, but it was so worth the time. When I see him reacting with the kids in my classroom, when I hear their comments about how they love coming into my room, they love seeing him, they love the support that he gives, it was worth every minute we spent training. 
Now, if you have any questions for me, please put them in the comments down below. I would love to talk to you about anything I can help with. Thanks.